Hi everyone, it's Kendra Devlin and I'm your ministry launch strategist and we are here for our series, Stop Running From Online Ministry. And so anxiety is delaying your online ministry. Yep, I said it, anxiety is delaying it. You feel like, oh my goodness, if, if I start, I'm just going to be so overwhelmed. You haven't done one thing and here you are so far in the future trying to figure out all the right and wrong things that are going to happen, you get overwhelmed and then you won't even start on the small pieces that God has called you to because you're just like, it's going to take so much. It's going to take so much. It's going to take so much. And it really doesn't. That's your own thought process. <laughs> you put that thought in your head. God didn't. He doesn't give us things in its totality. When he's giving you that vision, when he's giving you this, this peace He's giving you the peace and you have to work towards the peace. And then you walk in the next revelation, but it's not as overwhelming as you make it. For those that are, you know, aspiring authors or even writing your second book and you lack motivation throughout the process, it's probably because you're overwhelming yourself during the process. You're saying, oh, it takes this, it takes out, but a lot of times it doesn't. It's going to be overwhelming. It's, it's, and you all the way like 20 years in the unknown for no reason. You thinking about starting the online ministry? Well, I, I, it's just gonna be, it's just a lot of work and I don't even like to be stressed. Who said it was going to be ridiculously stressful? You've never done it, so you actually don't know. So you're placing things on you and you don't even know how it goes when God is just asking you to start small. <laughs> but the root is you don't believe in the things God gave you. You got so much anxiety about as to what's to happen that you haven't even consulted God about how do you want me to go about this, Lord? Help me to understand this in a way. Simplify it for me, Lord. Give me wisdom. Simplify this thing for me. Let me call somebody. Let me, let me message Kendra. It's really just that simple. But you don't believe that God is going to give it to you in the way he needs to give it to you to simplify it for you. And you don't believe in the things that God gave you. So you make it so overwhelming when God said, I, I didn't ask for all of that. Right. And it's connected to you not running. Uh, it's connected to you actually running from the ministry because what you post is, it's, it's not going to really be in, in, impactful. Um, it's, it's, it's too, it's too much. I'm just overwhelmed. <laughs> uh, but it's all based off of you being overwhelmed. They're not going to even care about what I have going on. Right. But it's that anxiety. You have so much anxiety that you won't even get going and get started. And that's really how it's going to impact it. You won't get started. That's why this, this series is called Start Running From Online Ministry is because you're over here talking about all of this stress, all of this overwhelm. You have this lack of motivation. And because of that, you can't even operate in, in God. And so you feel like, well, it's not really even going to be impactful because you just got so much going on in your head. But what are you being anxious for? God is in the unknown. He's beyond time. And if he says he wants you to do something, you can actually get it done. Not within your own strength, but because you're partnering with Holy Spirit. We see so many different people in the Bible that once again, Moses, he was so overwhelmed by the task that he had. God had to bring in Aaron and of course, bring in, bring in his sister Miriam. But we're overwhelmed when God says, I'll be with you. And there's no need to be overwhelmed with online ministry. I mean, there's literally no, no need. But imagine today if you could be at peace. Hmm, hallelujah. If you could just simply be at peace with the things that God has asked of you. Because if you work from that mind frame, if you work from that fruit of the spirit, then what happens? The things he's called you to it's so much easier. You simplify, you see the big picture. And then you actually get going, you stop running, you're preparing, you're doing it, you're launching. That, that's what, that's truly 
what God has called you to do so that you can walk out in the fullness of the ministry and purpose that he has given you. But imagine that, that you could be at peace. Tell me in the comment section, if you could be at peace right now with what God is telling you to do, what could you actually do? <laughs> what could you actually do? But stop delaying the ministry because of your anxiety and be at peace with where God has called you to go and what he's called you to do. Be at peace today because tomorrow is too late to be great.